Hi guys, this is Chef Jean Academy. Welcome back to our new awesome tutorial. In today's class, we'll be looking at the top 8 major differences between Eurocode 2 and BS8110. The development of Eurocode started in 1975 and it is claimed to be the most technically advanced structural codes in the world. It was produced by European Committee for Standardization, also known as CEN, and is projected to replace existing national codes in about 28 countries. Eurocode 2 is also known as BSEN 1992-11, and BS8110 is generally known for structural use for buildings. If this is your first time on this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like the video and give a comment in the comment section. First major difference between this code is that Eurocode 2 laid down advice on basis of phenomena rather than member types as in BS8110. What we mean by phenomena in this case is when we are talking about structural effects on buildings or on structures such as bending and shear. But BS8110 actually gives advice on the basis of member types such as columns, slab, beams, etc. Then the second major difference between this code is that the design in Eurocode is based on the characteristics cylinder strengths why the BS8110 is based on the cubic strength. You know, we have two major tests, two major ways of testing for the characteristic strength of concrete. You have the cylindrical method and you have the cube method. So the Eurocode is based on the cylindrical strength, while the BS8110 is based on the cubic strength. Then the third major difference between them is that the unit for stress in Eurocode is given in megapascal, which we already know that in uh, the normal BS code, the unit of stress is Newton per mm square. But from fundamental system of units, we know that one megapascal is equivalent to one Newton per mm square. So then another thing is. Eurocode also uses comma as decimal point. So this can actually sound convincing to designers that are already familiar with BS code and find the Eurocode unfamiliar. Then the fourth point that we'll be talking about is Eurocode 2 now covers higher strength of concrete up to concrete class of 90 slash 102 newton per mm square we already knew that bs8110 covers concrete strength up to a class of concrete having a strength of 50 newton per mm square then the fifth major difference between this code is in Eurocode 2 the punching shear check is carried out at two times the effective depth from the face of the column. We already knew that in BS8110, punching shear checks are always carried out at 1.5 by the effective depth, multiplied by the effective depth of the concrete section. Then the sixth major difference is that the serviceability check is carried out using the span to effective depth rule. This is applicable in both codes, but in Eurocode 2, the guidance given varies to that of BS8110. If there is need for more detailed check on deflection or on serviceability, then the second to the last part where we're ending this tutorial is 
Iroko 2 give more complex rules for determination of anchorage length and lap length. And the reason is Iroko consider effect of the position of the bar during concreting, the shape of bars and cover. So this lead to a more complex rule de developed in Eurocode compared to the simple table given in BS8210. And the last up point that I'll be talking about in today is in Eurocode 2, there is no guidance for plain bars or mine steel reinforcement as we found in BS8210. But this guidance is actually given in the background paper to the UK National Annex. So these are the major points that I've gathered between Iroko 2 and BS8110. If you have any other points, kindly share with us in the comments below. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos like this. See you in the next one.